bought a lot of military crates. Now we are going to unbox them. Is this a real grenade? Wait, wait, what is that? Is it working? Hello, my dear viewers and my favorite subscribers. My name is Love, and today we prepared a cool video for you. We bought a real military crate, and today we're gonna see. Today we firstly need to find them and see what's inside. But I have no idea what's inside of those military crates that I already paid five thousand dollars let's see what's inside but let's find them first of course it's not easy to buy military crates you cannot just uh, go into the shop and ask can i have several military crates of course no you have to order them using airdrop delivery of course and now i have my gps coordinates and i have to understand where my airdrop has been dropped and uh, Thanks. My airdrop must be somewhere over here. So, I think now we have to uh, go there. So, I think we are on the right place. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of snow over here. And if I'm not mistaken, the GPS coordinates leads us there. This is the field where our airdrop has been dropped. So now we have to find somewhere over here our military crates. Oh my gosh, that's not gonna be easy. Oh my gosh! Ah, the worst thing is that right here GPS is working really poorly. So I cannot get the real coordinates. I just have uh, approximate dots somewhere here on this field. So right now I have to just go and search. Oh my gosh! Everywhere! Uh, but I need this military crate because I already paid for them. And yes, guys, it's been 30 minutes. I've been searching this air crate, air, air drop military crate for 30 minutes. And now we found it. I think that's a, a green wooden crate. So it's a military crate. And as you see, there is no footprints on the left, on the front, on the back side of this crate. So as you may understand, it has been dropped from the air. So that's an air drop. And now we're gonna take it. Whoa, that's a heavy one. <laughs> that's our first military crate for today. Great, but we need to find two more. It must be somewhere here. But for now I can't see it. Maybe we should walk there. Oh, there are some buildings. And yes, I was right. That's another crate but this one is made of metal uh, i'm not sure if this is a military crate oh no yes it's like kind of green color but it's a metal military crate this is a very old one and that this one has a lock and this lock is covered with rust completely oh my gosh something was written here yeah that's some kind of label but now I cannot understand what is that, but I'm 100% sure that there are some stuff. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Okay, anyway, that's our second crate. And that's good. Let's search for the third one. Look, there are more abandoned buildings on this area. So there are lots of stuff on this field, but where is my crate? Uh, we already found two of them. Somewhere should be the third one. Yes, guys, great. <laughs> We've spent more than one hour and we found all three military crates. This one is a wooden one. It's a strange crate. It has some marks. It looks like rockets. Oh my gosh, who can even imagine what's inside of this crate? And this one is the biggest one. It it's the size of two me. It's a very long thing. Oh, and that's a very heavy thing, actually. So, 
We've collected all three military crates and now we need to unpack them. So now we brought all three military crates here into my base and let's start unboxing them. But personally, I don't know from where should I start. These things look strange but interesting. This military crate is the brightest one and this crate is the only one which is locked using this old lock actually. And this is the biggest crate but I think we should start from that one. <laughs> to unlock this military crate, I'm gonna use the special tool. Lock, unlock. Ah, I have some difficulties with this lock. <laughs> yes, we did it. I already saw that there is there are some strange stuff but I still can't understand. But now you will see what's inside of our first military crate. If you like videos like this, feel free to subscribe right now. Because my name is Slav and this is Slav's Adventures channel and we are producing videos daily. So if you want to see videos like that every day, feel free to subscribe. Let's start the open casing. What? Wait, what? What is that? It looks like a, a old rusty military helmet. Oh. oh, there are lots of them. Wow, that looks creepy actually. Nothing is left out of these helmets. They almost completely destroyed by rust just look at them but i'm almost sure that these are military helmets maybe all these are actually second world war uh, military helmets and so maybe these helmets are 80 years old something like that oh guys look this is a special trap that was used by soldiers to uh, separate the area, not to let uh, enemies uh, get into the area, because this is this actually spikes. All these spikes can be installed as a fence and they are dangerous actually because you can easily damage your hand if you're not using gloves or like that. This uh, spikes, uh, this fence with spikes was used uh, also during Second World War. All this stuff is a military stuff, yes. I asked uh, military crates, but uh, it doesn't look like that I was expected. Hmm. It, it, this looks like a rusty rubbish, actually. Some kind of, some sort of casing. And what is that? Whoa, a silver, whoa, a shiny silver portable knife. Yeah, guys, this is an old thing and this is really rare thing. So maybe right now we are looking at old stuff. Maybe all these uh, things, they are old, but, but they could be worthy because there are a lot of people who love uh, items from Second World War and maybe all these items are military items and they are connected somehow, somehow with the World War and maybe all these helmets and stuff like that can cost a lot of money. But I'm not sure that $5,000 mm, that all that cost $5,000 that I already paid. So that was our first military crate and actually I'm not super happy with that one. I'm not sure how much could it cost. If you have any ideas, feel free to write down your opinion in the comments. But I think mm, the maximum price what we can get for this military old stuff, maybe $500 is like top price. So, let's switch uh, to this one. Mm. <sighs> this one is the brightest one and it has 
strange opening so how how could I open it? oh good yeah the second military crate and you're gonna be the first who will see what's inside of this military crate come closer and three two one oh it's opening up and what is that at least that thing doesn't look like something old rusty and dirty like the first crate we had but still it's just a fabric fiber or clothing it has military colors right oh no i think i know what is that it's a uh, this stuff is used to for 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 masking oh that's a lot of other stuff here so soldiers wearing this uh, suit to hide themselves in the forest oh but what is this cardboard why is it here that's a lot of cardboard but this cardboard is used to secure the weapons while to transferring them uh, in the crates actually so to secure them to fix them uh, I mean the weapons is used this uh, cardboard but why is it here I still can't understand because the only thing we have here is the suit how how can I use it okay let's try it out wait what ah, what is going on what the hell my gosh, that's a pants. What? What? It's not, it's not, ah, it's not the whole costume. It's not the whole suit. That's, that's just a pants. So, uh, it's used like that, I think. So maybe, uh, if I could have this suit before, I'm gonna use it in the forest when I was playing hide and seek against monsters. You may use this hint to watch my previous video, uh, but this, the pants, I don't think I'm gonna need them. Uh. So the pants is not super interesting, but I found something else inside of this crate. Oh my gosh, that's an okay. That's a real AK. Oh my gosh. It's unbelievable, guys. And this weapon is kind of valuable, to be honest with you. Hey, come on, relax. It's, uh, it's on the safe position. But unfortunately, this uh, AK is damaged. You see, this thing is covered with rust, so it's not brand new. It's like it was uh, damaged with something. Uh, that's not good because, uh, and also we have, we can see the damage here. It's not the, maybe it's rust, I don't know, to be honest with you. This is an old AK. It's a interesting find and uh, we still can sell it to hunters or, oh no. It has a very poor condition, unfortunately, guys. Look, this side is covered with rust, dirt, 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 and so on. Maybe we can clean this up. Maybe we can remove this and sell it to the to the hunters, to the guys who is interested in stuff like that. So this could be valuable, but in such poor condition, this AK costs no more than maybe one thousand dollars is the top price maybe if we can clean this up if we can remove all this dirt and make it looks like a new one its price a thousand dollars no more unfortunately but i spent a five thousand dollars for all of these crates so all in all at this moment if we'll uh some this uh, crate and this crate we have maybe 1600 and 1500 dollars something like that but that's not this that's not all oh we can see some ak bullets over here yeah this is ak bullets yeah. and some of oh they are destroyed actually these bullets are in poor condition look at them they are just destroyed 
and this is covered with rust unfortunately all these are very old oh my gosh it's a this is poor condition these bullets uh, it's impossible to use them they are just destroyed covered with rust and they are very old and oh that's a sniper bullet over here but it's also covered with rust dirt so as as far as i think all these military crates are filled with uh, old unused uh, or useless weapons so that's why they have such a low price oh what is that it's like a portable flashlight yeah i saw the things like that and here is written made in ussr in russian that's a rare thing that's a very interesting rare thing it's like a, a limitless flashlight because you don't need batteries to use it you can use the power of your fingers to light the area up so it's it, it never comes to an end you can use it when, whenever you want mm. That's an interesting thing, but this cost maybe $100, it's a top price. So uh, we can sell it to the guys who love stuff from USSR. So now we have $1,600 all in all. But look at, at this. Is it a grenade? It looks, it looks good. It has good condition. But these bullets, they have a poor condition. So how is this possible? I can't understand. I think they are not real. These grenades just not real. What the heck? What the heck was that? Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh. That was a real grenade, I'm sorry for that. Oh, this is crazy, look at that. This was an explosion, a real explosion. These crates are dangerous. Never try to repeat anything like that. So now we have the last military crate. The biggest one, the longest one and the strangest one because here we got some marks this stuff looks like a rocket or something like that and i have no idea how to unbox it i'm i'm gonna use again some special tools i suppose that is my special tool okay let's keep going let's keep opening this military crate whoa that's a lot of cardboard here and do you remember what i told you before this type of cardboard is used to carry weapons is it such a big weapon <laughs> what that thing could be guys if this thing a real weapon or gun or something really big write down your guess try to guess right now what that thing is if you will write the right comment i will mark you a heart or make you a like or of course reply by myself in the comments feel free to write down any of your comments because i also appreciate funny comments some interesting comments but now your mission is to try to guess what there could be so let's remove this cardboard look it's, it, it looks like something brand new this thing is wrapped into packing or something like that i still have, have no idea what is that let's try to get it out of military crate military crate uh, uh, that's a heavy thing a big one my gosh what that thing could be wow guys that's a brand new 
bazooka an rpg launcher oh my gosh oh. Oh. <laughs> that's a big one oh there is a button no 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 i'm not gonna push that button right now ah because that could be dangerous that could be really dangerous it's not a regular grenade guys that's an rpg launcher that's a crazy thing this thing can destroy anything maybe anything like like monsters maybe we can use this bazooka against monsters maybe we can use this bazooka against Choo Choo Charles. If you have no understanding what I'm talking about, feel free to use this hint to watch my videos about Choo Choo Charles. And guys, maybe this is the answer. Such big RPG launchers are used to destroy the whole tanks. So maybe this thing gonna be enough to destroy the Choo Choo Charles. What do you think about that? I think this unpacking was good all in all because the price of this RPG is much higher than $5,000 guys because this is a brand new look that is my dust that I put it on it it was absolutely clear and absolutely brand new because it was packed into this packaging oh my gosh that's unbelievable oh. So, <laughs> basically, these things look cool, isn't it? I think that's great. A little bit heavy, but we can use that bazooka against anybody, any anyone. Maybe you can give, may give us a hint and uh, versus who, against whom we can use this RPG launcher mm, against Choo Choo Charles, against monsters, or maybe against robots i mean the titan boy our main enemy if you have no idea what i'm talking about you can use this hint to watch my videos about robots and that thing is going to be necessary but all in all five thousand dollars that i spent today on this military crates are already paid me back so i hope you enjoyed my video and if you want to get more videos feel free to write down your comments about that if you like unboxing and military crates and if you want to get these videos regularly feel free to subscribe to my channel because we are producing these videos every day just for you don't forget about the likes, of course, they are helping us to promote our videos and I appreciate any type of your help and any type of your support. My name is Love, thanks for watching, bye-bye.